tigers welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here and in today's video i'm going to be talking about the new adopt me update which is going to be in adopt me for the next four weeks so this is really really exciting and it's also a really really long update adopt me like usually it doesn't do the updates like that long so it's really exciting that they're doing this and it's also like a space galactic themed update so as you can see i've already made an outfit to match the theme of the update and i'm really happy with how it turned out and in this video i'm going to be telling you all the information you need to know about how to get all of the new galactic and space pets for absolutely free because what is really really amazing about this update is it is all effort equals reward it is non pay to win at all so a lot of people are happy about that because sometimes when Adopt Me puts updates in the game that cost Robux, it kind of annoys some people, the people that can't afford to have Robux or just kind of think it me makes the game like pay to win. And I kind of agree because Adopt Me is like, I feel like you should put a lot of effort in for good pets, not just be able to like buy a good inventory, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be talking about some of the features of the new update and how exactly you obtain these really cool sounding space pets. So with this update, it's going to be kind of like a different update. So I'm going to start off explaining like how you're going to obtain the pets. So there is going to be like something called galactic levels and basically what you need to do is you need to gain XP to get through the galactic levels and each level you will gain an item, a reward, maybe a pet and on the galactic levels there's going to be multiple things you can obtain and these things include a new mini age up potion. Now this is really cool and I was not expecting I don't mean to add this at all and by the looks of it it's just like a regular age up potion but it does less tasks than like the age of potion that we've got now which i think is pretty cool especially if like you don't want to give your pet that much tasks because it's called a tiny age of potion i think it's going to do like half the tasks of the one we've got now which would be about like i think it would be about 16 tasks because the one we get now does 31 tasks and then another thing that we're going to be able to get on this um, galactic levels is these really really cute galactic boots and they're a pet wear and I think they're really really awesome because like some people kind of underestimate pet wear in my opinion but yeah I think pet wear is really really cute so I'm really excited for that and before I tell you some of the pets that we're going to be able to get in this update, I also just want to explain that there's going to be like a different set of galactic um, levels every week of this update. As in on week one of the update, there's going to be certain items you can obtain from the levels. And then the next update, if you haven't already obtained the items from the first week, then you won't be able to get them anymore. And it will move on to different items that you can obtain from the galactic levels. And then on a week one, the pet that you're going to be able to obtain from the galactic levels, and it's called the Singularity Ant. And I think this is a really, really cool pet, and it looks very, very different to other pets in Adopt Me. Like, I wasn't expecting it to look like this at all, but I do think it is a really, really cool design, especially since it's got, like, stars in it and stuff. It kind of reminds me of the Space Whale or the Capricorn. But yeah, it's called the Singularity Ant, and this pet is a rare pet. And then one other thing that I know you can obtain from the galactic levels is something called galactic shards or galactic fragments. And you're going to have to collect these from week one of the update. Because if you make sure that you collect these every week from the galaxy in Adopt Me, one pet's silhouette is going to come down into Adopt Me Island. And then if you purchase the pet, which will cost galactic shards, you'll be able to like see what it looks like. Because if you don't purchase it it will just be a silhouette of the pet and they're called like celestial pets coming down from adopt me's galaxy and i think a few of them are going to be legendary i think there's going to be one each week of the update so therefore there might be like two pets each week of the update if you can get one from the galactic levels and one from the adopt me galaxy so i think that is really cool so make sure that you collect as much galactic shards as you can because they're really really important and now I'm going to talk about how you can actually get XP for this Galactic Levels because I haven't even told you how you're able to get the XP at Tigers. Well this, well this is actually really really simple. 
And the reason why that this is really, really simple and easy to do is because it's just a thing that you do in Adopt Me regularly and usually. The way to gain XP for these galactic levels is to just age up your pets. If you love grinding in Adopt Me, then this update is just incredible for you because it's like you can just carry on with what you're doing and be rewarded for it even more than being able to make Megas and Neons. Like you're going to be able to make your pets Mega and Neon by grinding and you're also going to get even more rewards from it such as the XP, the shards, the age up potions and you know the pets. You're going to get a lot of rewards from it. So I think this is a really really good update and Adopt Me is thinking of so so many new ideas and it's really really good that they're doing all of these amazing updates. I would really like to know Tigers what do you think about this update because I am really really excited and I know that Toffee is too because she can't buy much Robux so she's really happy when she's able to get all of the pets from the update because sometimes when there's like an update and if you're not allowed to get Robux then there's some pets that you can't get. So I think this is really really good that the update is like effort equals reward especially for like if you're not allowed Robux so I'm definitely going to be making a lot more space themed outfits ready for this update because I just think like it's really cool to make outfits that go along with the theme of the update so I'm probably going to be doing that and I also just want to let you know that if I am not online much tomorrow or for the next few days it's actually because I am going on holiday so I might not be able to do a Tiger Cup hangout tomorrow or the day after or the day after that but then I, after that I'm going to be coming home so I just want to let you know like if I can't reply to your comment or I don't like your comment or yeah if I'm not on Tiger Cup hangout that might be why because I'm going on holiday but yeah I really hope that you found this information helpful Tigers because I know that updates like this can be kind of complicated and hard to like know how to like obtain the XP or the pets so I really hope that like, all this information helps make it more clear to you. And yeah, I think the pets are really, really cool and I'm really excited to see them because like I've never seen like Adopt Me do like space themed pets before. So that's really, really exciting. And after this update, I've just been thinking, I kind of think the next update after this space update, I know like this update is on for four weeks, but I think it's gonna be a new egg in Adopt Me. And the reason why I think it's going to be a new egg in Adopt Me, and that is because we've had the egg that we've currently got in the Gumball machine for quite a while already, so I kind of think it's time for another egg to come into the Gumball machine. So that's really exciting, and I'm not sure what type of egg that's going to be, but yeah, I'm really excited to find out if I am right with that update. But I really hope you enjoyed this video, Tigers, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe so you can take part in my next giveaway, which I'm going to be announcing very, very soon, and also so you don't miss another one of my videos. So I really hope you enjoyed, Tigers, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, Tigers!